So I looked all over on the internet to uh, see how to activate the exhaust filter on 11 through 16. Couldn't find it. Um, here's a little tutorial on how to do that. You would need a four scan. I will put a picture at the end. I'll also put a link in the description for four scan and uh, OBD cable. So this is how to activate your um, exhaust filter. It will tell you the percentage of your, your soot level in your exhaust filter. And um, what you would need is a um, Windows computer for scan. And then you would go to the configuration, uh, which is um, that tab, you know, uh, one with that microchip on it. Um, configuration and programming. Then you'll go to the IPC module uh, configuration, which is not the as built one but the one below it um here you can change um all these different things and um if you go down um i wouldn't try to change unless i know what i'm doing but um here it is there's um force regeneration request which you can see right there that will be uh, from factory disabled you can go ahead and enable that uh, once you enable that, um, then you have to cycle the key, turn it off. It will prompt you to turn it off, turn it back on. And um, then uh, once you turn it back on, you will have um, you have the exhaust filter. And then from there, you can actually uh, do a manual regen once it's, I think it's over 90 or uh, over 90% soot level. Uh, you can uh, do a force regen. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, you would need Forescan, the software, the cable. I think uh, the um, it is um, for um, a three year for fifty bucks or something like that. Uh, but um, here it is. You know, it's um, there's uh, all these different uh, other things you can do, and. That just lets you know where it's at. This is what the cable looks like, the OBD link cable that you buy on the same website. So um, uh, I'll put it in the description. Thank you.